Hello everyone and welcome back to Farmers Center 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Games. We have officially made it through our first year on this map and we are doing pretty dang good I feel like so far. As you can see we're pretty much broke so I'll show you what we finally invested to. We'll hop into the Ford here and we'll head on down towards the farm. But we... I feel like we got quite a bit accomplished. And right now, I got there's a lot of things I want to try and get money for before we officially get into like March and April. But we got a we got a quite a bit of work ahead of us, so it's gonna be kind of a tricky one. As you can see, I invested into a water tanker and water tower. And the whole purpose of investing into the water tower was because this lake here, I don't know what it is, but you cannot get the tankers deep enough in there to trigger to fill. So we had to invest into a water tower. The awesome news is, though, is that basically, in my mindset, we're pulling water straight from the lake and just storing it in the tower right now. So it's not costing us anything. And we got, we got all our bales moved inside and we'll take a drive out back here. And as you can see, we finally got our pasture put up. We don't have very many cattle right now. I only bought five, and I chose to buy the 18th month old cattle. I'll kind of show you here quick. Actually, wait. The, keep forgetting the trigger to let the animals off and in or here. We ended up having someone deliver them out to us, but we bought some Angus, and we bought some of the older Angus because I figured that we can keep these Angus for a while, for a year or two, or at least until I feel more comfortable with the amount of cows we have. So hopefully they'll start reproducing here soon. I think they're doing pretty decent on how. Yep, they're fifty-one percent, and that's only being here one day so far, one month so far. Because I got, I did this back in late November after I got everything done and put away. And we got them taken care of for water and f feed right now. And they're, they're going through, for the five cows, they're going through a good amount of gra hay already. So we're going to have to kind of figure out what I'm going to do here. So I'm thinking about maybe tilling, part of, tilling the part of this field under and actually planting grass down because... Having an actual grass field versus just the grass texture harvesting yields more, and I might do that here as well, but I haven't really fully committed yet. So what we got ahead of us right now, besides making sure we keep our cattle fed, which they should be good for a while now, I think, at least, at least in reality you have to feed them every day, but with the way that we got it set up, Giants got it set up, I think we should be good till... I'm hoping till the month month of March or April because what we're going to do here we're going we're gonna to load up our toolbox and we got to load up we got to get our our Oliver loaded up and get a weights weight put on there and we're going to haul that all the way to our woods we bought so the few goal things I would like to invest to before we get Oh, trying to think of the right way to put it. That lever fired up. I got all our equipment filled up too, so we should be ready to go. But back to what I was saying, a few things I would like to invest to is I would actually like to invest into a bigger tractor. At least, at least 140, 150 horsepower is what I'm kind of looking at right now and invest into a bigger t piece of tillage equipment. So that way we can kind of get our ground plowed in faster and such. I shouldn't say plowed, but worked up faster because I'm working with that cultivator mod and I th I'm going to use a different type of cultivation for when we start making our new pieces of ground so hopefully we can avoid picking rock as much as possible. So we, I think, for our, or what I was looking at, I think we need like seventy thousand dollars just for, for that. And I would like us to invest into a planter and start planting corn this coming year. 
a little bit a little bit tough getting back up here this time oh that's probably why I gotta lift the loader up a little come on there we go don't run it off the trailer so what I would like to do that should be good right there so what I would like to do is invest into that, invest into a row crop, row crop planner. And the row crop planner, the one I'm looking at ain't too much, it's a little... Oh, I think it's about six meters, I can't remember. And we can... Oh, I don't know why I shut the truck off, I left it running anyways. Um, and we can use one of these two tractors we already got to plant with. And the other thing I would like to do is, if we get enough of the woods we got cleared out, I'd like to invest into the sawmill. So that way we can just, we can just start hauling all our logs right there, and then maybe make some planks, and I think we could get more money for selling the planks than we would just selling the trees. But it's kind of hard to say. And I think the way I'm going to do this episode, we're going to, like, we're going to just do at least one load a day of recording and then we'll move to the, on to the next month and we'll keep checking in on our cattle and such and we'll have to keep checking checking the bean market which I haven't checked lately we're gonna have to check on that as well Look by here now this is where it's gonna get a little tricky You're probably gonna lose a little paint on the Oliver just driving through the wood start of this woods over here because we don't technically own this part here well here we are I think we'll just leave everything to load up oh, look at the ramps down at least we'll leave every we'll leave the Oliver loaded yet yet because we don't need quite need it yet and we'll start oh, didn't mean to do that we'll start right here but I would like to at least get get started with those few items get at least get the oh sorry I lost my train of thought get the sawmill bought and then we can I think we could start making a little bit more money that way and then we wouldn't have to run run the logs anywhere anymore we just ha start processing them ourselves and hopefully making a little bit more money and the other thing I would like to do as well, I just realized I forgot my measuring stick. We're going to take down quite a few of these trees before we start loading. But we're going to... I would like to also be able to invest into... Oh, did it again. I have to trim these up so I can see what I'm doing. So what else I would like to do is I would like to get some on-site storage for this farm so that way we won't have to sell the crop like we did this past season so I think I'd like to get at least get one bin up if not two is my ultimate goal and I think this this year we might stick more to corn and soybeans like more of the stuff we we generally farm around where I live but I haven't fully set on that yet so but that's the plan as of right now. I there was another few purchases I like to make, but I feel like feel like those are the like three main purchases I would like to start out with. Cuz I don't I don't want to set it up to set ourselves up too high. Right now cuz we're we're going to be in So if you sit there and think about, I think it's going if I want two bins, I think they're uh, excuse me a second. Sorry about that. Just started coughing really bad. Um, so I think with like the two bends we we want to invest into, and the, we'll need the auger to reach them. I think it's going to be at least a hundred twenty thousand, maybe. I think. I do not know for sure. I haven't really looked too much into pricing them out yet. Actually, we'll take a peek here quick, because I'll show you what bends I'm planning on using. 
Uh, let's see. So I'm planning to invest into. There we go. Yeah, so we're going to be sitting close to 120,000. 130, actually, with the augers. So, about $130,000 for the bins, and I think it's the sawmill I'd like to invest into. Could have probably started with this first this morning. I think it's about 150 for the one I was looking at. Maybe? Yeah. Because we could go with this. The two, one of the two regular ones, like this one wouldn't be that bad. But I f feel like the large saw sawmill. is going to be much better for us. Just get an idea here how much tree, how much of this woodland we would have to clear. And then when we, if, when we would clear all these trees out. Grant, we don't necessarily, I guess I didn't think about it that way either. We don't necessarily have to sell, take all these in. When we get the money, we could just start. After we get this area cleared, we could just start building up our sawmill as well. That was 150, right? Sorry, I'm I'm easily distracted right now. It's been quite a few days since I last played, so yes, 150 thousand dollars. So it's gonna take it'll take quite a bit of lumber before we even get get to that point. If you're thinking we're averaging between 15, 20 thousand dollars a load, that's that's at least 10 loads of logs. But these trees that we're into right now, they're a lot. They're definitely a lot bigger than what we were cutting off, off our property. We had a few, quite a few of them like this size, but nowhere the ne near the amount we have now. So, but that's the plan as of right now. Cause, like I said, I would like, that's, when you look at it, that's almost $300,000 worth, worth of items that I kinda want us to purchase. And then I, I kinda want us to next year Look into basically an alternative energy for us because we don't really have any power out here yet. I'd like to get some lighting on our farm for during the dark, during the night hours because it gets pretty dark out here. And I think being self efficient. Oh, okay. Wondering if it's going to bug out, be goofy again like that last one. And I think being self-efficient is one of the big things we want to do in this series, like... Personally a lot. Personally wise, like... Being able to survive our own and maybe be able to provide for a community out here, but we're gonna... We're gonna get the Oliver unloaded now. We're gonna jump into the time lapse here. Like I said, we'll probably just do... What I'll probably do is, like, string, string together a few clips of each each month for this episode just because I don't want to do three straight episodes and nothing but logging. I think we'll just end up stringing like the three months together. And I grab the toolbox. Need to put that around if I remember right. There we go. Get our, throw on our logging ports. That back in the truck but no I figure we'll we'll just do like three stretches three like small clips of just at least getting one load a month on and such unless something else we do something else like if we sell and I forgot to check again like selling our soybeans off cuz yeah it looks like we're not gonna be selling those off for quite a while not at least till May or June yeah. At least according to the price right now, but I did it again. Yep, so we're going to jump into the time lapse here. I'm going to cut one more tree down, and then we're, we'll have quite a bit here to do. Like I said, we'll. I just kind of want to. I kind of want to do it this. Do it this way for now, because we don't. We don't have a whole lot going on, and in reality, during this time, like I don't know of the weather. For here in this game here, but I know in reality, like it, around our area, it'd be the ground would be too frozen for us to even attempt to start 
oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Start doing cultivation and such. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna probably string across, string three episodes here, and if anything else comes up, we'll put that we'll put that together in that time lapse as well. But we'll see you guys at the end of this all in about three months. Yeah, about three months is what I think it's gonna take. Hello everyone, welcome back. We're in the month of February now. As you can see, we're up to $69,000. Our lumbering expeditions are going pretty decently. Uh, we checked on the cows this morning and they are doing pretty dang well right now. And they're starting to get to the point where they're ready to start reproducing. I feel like they're going through their hay awfully fast. I think they're going to take at least two to three bales a month. And I'm hoping we have enough hay. I did a little quick count earlier. We had like 16 bales left. So I don't think the fall, the next year we'll be able to make much off of selling grass silage this time around. Especially since we got those cattle to think for. Um, but they're about, it said they're about 10% through for reproduction. So we probably won't see any calves till... September, November time frame, I'm guessing. So it'll be a while before we 
we get to the point that we'll be having a lot of our own livestock come from them, and I, I kind of want to keep those cows a few for a few years because I don't. Right now, I don't feel like we should be investing too much into Angus yet. Not at least till we get more ground and start getting bigger equipment for haying and such, but. And I decided to make an executive, executive decision. I was kind of looking at our... Because with the amount of money we got already, that's just from four loads of logs. And we're, we're not going to make enough money to make all the investments I want. So I'm gonna, we're going to settle for the, what, the, smaller, the smaller sawmill for 20000 And we're going to start loading up all the logs we can in that. And we might sell, sell a oh, couple loads of logs yet to, up to the highway there. I think we're just going to push this stuff out of the way for now, so that way we can... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to push this stuff out of the way since we're going to be putting up our sawmill here shortly. But I think we just got enough space cleared now. Oh, a little too high. That we should be able to get the sawmill in here nicely. Let's push these. There we go. Bag lifter's kind of kind of handy for something like this. But that's kind of the plan right now, because I didn't when I was doing first doing my estimation of like how much money we're gonna need. I didn't have figured in another piece of ground which. It'd be a mute point for us to invest into another tractor and a bigger piece of tillage equipment if we can't even if we can't even afford another piece of ground. I mean, it'd be nice to have three tractors for our two little plots of land, but I think that'd be a little overkill. And think I kind of feel like right now with our with our forty twenty, I feel like having just the two of these is a little bit overkill, but. Since the Oliver can't really run the, oh, run the, oh, the tree planter, we kind of had to invest into the 4020 granite. Okay. Ooh. Iron 30 horse. Oh, that would be, that would not be a bad investment for us, actually. That might... I'm not a Case International fan, but I'd rather go with the tan tires, too. Hmm. Yeah, I'd stick with the trailer attachment. Because I was thinking... Originally, I was thinking of investing into... The, I got a Great plain subsoiler that I was, I'd been wanting to use. Right there, the turbo tail. Takes the same horse, but it's a little smaller than that 20 foot disc. But it takes the same amount of power to run. And we would we would be getting the same thing out of it. I think I think we're gonna have to we're gonna have to take it. That'll save us some investment too as well. And you know what? This and I kind of want to get up to 10 miles an hour, just to match. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this should, this will work out. So we made kind of a impulse buy there, but you know what? That little, oh shoot. Oh well, I'll be able, I'll be able to change that later. I forgot to change the tires to the, like the international tan or beige or whatever color you want it. That's fine, we'll change that later. It's just gonna sit there for a bit anyways. Because we gotta make the most of our daylight. Because we don't have much daylight. There we go. Oh jeez. I was almost about to be boxed inside here. There we are. We got our logging facility set up. Storage is empty. That's fine. I haven't used this yet, so this will be another experiment thing. I wonder but we can put in wood planks. 
Oh, and we need... We need wood chips to... Mmm, that... That is interesting. I've never used this... Oh. Oh, okay. We're getting wood chips out of it as well. We're getting... We're getting 80, pl 80 planks and plus 3 wood chips for every 6... Okay. I thought... I was like, why do we need wood chips to... To produce our... I mean, it'd go to that thing. To produce our our planks of wood. I was like, am I missing something here? But so, 45 grand now. And you know what? We, with that impulse buy of used equipment, which this series is going a little bit better for used equipment than my Elm Creek one already, which is kind of nice to know. Can I drop the logs? How am I supposed to drop the logs? Here. Actually, you know what? I think I'm supposed to return them oh, here. Another thing we might look into investing. Nine hundred eleven liters. Okay. Helpful. Let's get the planks going. Okay. So my question is, can we do a little cheating here? I shouldn't say cheating, a little proactive thinking. I just want to see. Part of me is thinking that we'll take all our smaller pieces. We'll see if the Oliver can drag this thing over here onto the sail point. Oh, look at that. She's a tough little tractor, ain't she? That unlatched? Four thousand liters. So it's gonna take us a little bit to actually fill this building up. Forty-eight dollars a month to run it? That ain't bad at all. I am curious though, I'll probably have to do some off-screen testing or look into it myself sometime if, if the other building would be a lot better for the large sawmill so to speak would be a lot better for like production speed wise but we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make a few con we're gonna make a few calls today see if we can clear out some of these trees make a straight path through here well, we might redo our road up here as well in the meantime, make more of a straight shot for the farm. Because I think the next piece we're going to buy is probably going to be B piece 25. And as for the disc, we're just going to leave that sit up there for now. When we go up there with... If we decide to go up there... Yeah, we're definitely going to... Never mind. We're going to definitely go up there. Because I don't think we're going to get enough planks produced to... Oh. What's the word I'm looking for? To make enough money to buy the... The tractor we're looking at and the uh, oh and the uh, 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 piece of ground gosh I am struggling bad right now and I always I'm keep getting lost where the trail is there it is so I think we'll make a few calls see if they'll let us take out oh like a straight shot through here just to get back there that way we can open up ourselves for business just in case anyone else comes out but we're gonna we're gonna skip ahead a little bit. We'll catch you guys on the flip side in the next month and we'll see where we're at. So we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, everyone, we're in the month of March now. So I've done quite a bit of, quite a bit of logging. We'll probably end up having to go, go back to our sawmill here because I don't think we're gonna have enough money with this load. So what I was thinking, since we got the cattle now, we're actually gonna drill some grass in I'm gonna leave those two like little patches up by around their pasture for now alone. Eventually I'll turn those into fields, I think. That uh, looks like actually we I think we just just made enough money off this last load here that we'll be able to buy the new tractor and stuff that I'm looking at. So I think think we'll we'll pick that up today. And we'll pick up the ground. 
Oh yeah, we're we're way over than what we needed. I I must have. I think I was still figuring in for our. Oh, for the. For what I was originally planning for, picking up for, for tillage equipment. So we actually are sitting very, well right now. So we're gonna. Put the. Flatbed trailer on. Take the logging forks off quick. So, oh, apparently it was unfolded the whole time. I wonder if that was just saved from when I switched it over to logging forts way earlier. Uh, it doesn't matter right now. Everything is just getting awfully dirty here. So, we'll walk in here. So, I was thinking... Oh, maybe... Since we're starting to expand pretty g at a pretty good rate, let's. I oh, wonder why it keeps turning me that way. Uh, so first things first. Since I know for a fact that we're gonna have enough, even after buying the planner, we're gonna invest into the little seven thousand John Deere planner here. And I think, yeah. Little 7000 series will get us by for now. And we're gonna bump that up to 11. And we're gonna put fertilizer tanks on it. So that way, we won't have to go over everything as much. We got that. And what I was wondering, with the planner bought now, I know we won't have enough money. I was thinking about investing into one of these. We're gonna get the... Extra, we would get extra lights on and we'd go for the bigger one. Get the extensions on. But it looks like we're still a little short yet, so... I don't think I really have much else for cheap options. That... I th think that one wouldn't have been bad, but... I think I would like to upgrade, upgrade to the Wilmer Spreader eventually. I think that would be probably one of the better ones for our operation, especially with the way we're playing, because that's something that similar that we've used before when we've done fertilizer spreading. But we don't really need an 8,000 one either, so, but right now we don't have, have the money to afford that. So right now, I, I was going to wait till next episode, but since this has been kind of a really odd episode here. I'm going to show you guys what I was going to invest into. Normally, I'm not a case person, but I want to add a little variety. And I was thinking, originally I was planning on getting this, the International, because I've actually ran one of these before. But the issue is that basically it, it was it was a 1086 series, which would actually be right up to where we need for horsepower. But the is main issue is with this tractor, it's a really great design. It's by, I think it was Julian F. Modding. The only thing is, is that the row crop tires are, are kind of like the Oliver's row crop tires. They don't really function when stuff gets a little bit taller. So we're gonna end up going with the 5000 series here. And I've never ran one of these before. So this will be a new experience for us and we're gonna get it with duels. And we're gonna pick that up today. And then we got 10, a little, about 11 grand left over. So we'll have, oh yeah, this is gonna be a nice upgrade. Especially with that disc too, we're going to be able to get a lot of tillage knocked out. So what I was planning today to leave us on a note, besides picking up this tractor, is that we were going to also... Also start off... I don't know why I hooked it up to this, because I'm not going to drive it all the way there. We're going to load this up on the trailer. Turning radius is not the greatest, I notice. It's gonna be a little, little much. 
Don't dare move it any for more forward. We're right up against the wheel fender, so. We'll hook up the... Hook up the disc behind here and get that hauled home, because we'll be using that before we need the planter. And when we come back for the planter, we'll pick up... We'll, book it. we'll pick up our fertilizer and our... Oh, what else were we needing? Seed. Because we'll have to fill the planter up, and I'm sure we'll go through quite a bit of seed this year. Compared to last year, especially since we expanded. We're going to be expanding quite a few fields. I'm kind of thinking... I'm trying to decide right now, so I got those two fields now. I wonder if I should just stretch those out, or... No, I, I don't think I'll stretch those fields out. I think what we're going to end up doing is we'll probably make either three or four more fields on our new property we just acquired. We're going to... We're going to... Oh, I keep losing my train of thought here. I'm just kind of excited about about this 5000 series case. Just some... We're upgrading pretty, f we're upgrading pretty fast in here, so I'm just real excited to get something. It'll be really nice to have something with a cab too, when you think about it. Not have to be out in the sun and heat, have AC, radio, and such. Let's drop that off there. We'll swing this around here. We'll get that unloaded. I think, yeah, I think I was gonna. Back to what I was saying. I think we'll. Stay away from... Uh oh, okay, good. I didn't know if I was going to be able to reach that. Get this pulled off here. There we go. Not as sharp turning as I thought it would be, but I think we'll make it work. We're, uh, we're probably going to need another shed or something here, too. To I'd like to invest something... To a little nicer shed next next go around, but we'll just leave that here for now. But I think this little disc is gonna was an excellent time for us to purchase it. I guess I never Okay. I was gonna say I don't remember looking at the used market today and I was like if there was a tractor about the same size as that, I probably would have gone for that instead just to save us a little bit money, but it's nice to have another brand new tractor on the farm but this is uh the field we're gonna plant grass is this one right here i figure it'll work out and i think this coming season we're gonna end up mainly we're gonna end up mainly planting corn and soybeans in the hopes that with all the lumber that we have going into our with our sawmill right now. There we go, get grass on before I accidentally start planting something else. I have done that before. So, actually we'll, we'll just jump over here quick and we'll end the episode here. But in between episodes, I'm gonna get that one field planted and we're gonna be moving into the month of April as the plan. So, as you can see, we have gotten almost 10,000 liters of planks already. But they're not at the greatest price, last I check. No, they're actually at the lowest they could be right now. So we're going to be hanging on to those for a while. And we're going to... I think we might invest into that logging tool. that Where we can drag the timber down into here. And that way I won't have to chop them up. I could just bring them over and just drag them over to the sawmill. So we're going to leave the Oliver here for now. And... I suppose we could just use the bag lifter, but I figure for more immersion, it'd be better to use that all oh, that log tool. I'll show you it quick. I can't. I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's just basically a giant a giant winching tool that we would would be able to use to pull everything in. And then once once we get a few more trees cleared out, like I kind of want to clear it out to here. I feel like we're kind of far enough back, granted we could probably clear out this whole area. We're going to come over here with our tree planter and replant everything. And then we can start taking out all these trees back here. And then hopefully by the time we get a good chunk of these out, 
these trees over here will be will be grow at a pretty good at a pretty good size, hopefully. I don't know how long it takes. Like in game months wise for them to grow. We'll actually check on our trees over here quick. So the, yeah, the, so it's probably gonna take a while. These ones are still pretty small yet. The cattle are still doing good as well. But they're they're sitting about eleven thousand liters of hay, which ain't bad, I mean. Twenty I wonder. They got quite they're worth quite a bit of money now from when we first bought them. But we're gonna like I said, we're gonna keep them since I want to kind of cap start calving and doing our own stuff here. Cause I think our next goal is I think we might buy piece twenty seven next after twenty seven or fifteen. And that way I think we're gonna try and put up a dairy barn next. Or maybe maybe a mini gas biogas plant so that way we can that's might what we do so that way we can start put up bringing electricity out here so that way we're ready for our barn and everything else but we're going to end it here today uh this has been kind of an awkward episode i know but i figure instead of just doing like a giant time jump and just jumping back into april i figure you kind of want to try something different see what you guys think uh any feedback on it it's great help so that way when we get to next year if i just do like three months worth of logging if you want to watch it you can it i don't think it's going to be very good entertainment like i said with just that one time lapse and then just kind of jumping in and out of see doing what we done between each month but otherwise if you enjoy the video please give it a thumbs up it really helps out the channel if you're enjoying the content please subscribe and stay up to date to everything above all else i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day and thanks for watching